There's a hotel in the depths of the basement of Colorado State University's Anatomy and Zoology building, but it's not like any you've ever seen. Plastic containers are the rooms. The tenants? Crabs. This lab is unique, not only researching the colorful crustaceans, but it's one of the labs that takes on the most CSU undergraduates and trains them to do research. Most undergrads start out like Matt Donovan did. Crab care is not very much fun. Um, it's actual manual work, but you get to understand um, kind of the lowest level of the lab and what we do. Once they've learned how to care for crabs, it's time to take things up a notch. Now most undergraduate students start downstairs in the basement caring for the crabs. But then, after they've been here a couple of months, we'll get to come upstairs and start their own research project in the lab. Thank you. From the crustacean decorations to the benches filled with lab equipment, the lab's primary investigator, Dr. Donald Michaels, has eight to ten undergraduates in his lab per semester. They add a, a spark of dimension that uh, keeps things fun and interesting. One of the major um, rewards, I think, of being a professor is the opportunity to be able to train students. It also gives them an, ex an idea of what research is really like. Oftentimes we present research in laboratory classes as more of a cookbook kind of thing. They can see what they're learning in the classroom really applies to what they're doing in the laboratory. I think that provides additional motivation for them to succeed. The hands-on approach helps students learn and teach. Like other graduate students and postdoctoral students, Megan Mudrin mentors undergraduates in the lab. And when those students finish their own projects... It's kind of like a proud mama moment. The researchers' collaboration turned into a camaraderie. It is like a family. Starting from the bottom and working their way to the top. Kate Winkle, JTC 345.